Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learn back once again in this YouTube astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about transit, sun, sextile, or trying one's natal mercury. Now, when you have uh, transits of uh, sun, um, sun sextiles natal mercury can be about creativity, life, action, drive, focus. That could be in harmony um, with communication. Um, it can be where this could be very uh, auspicious for, say, creative writing. Um, it can be where you have to drive the motivation to do this um, at this uh, point in time. Uh, it can also be um, being flippant with this. Maybe this is also good for um, solar powered uh, vehicles. The sun is connected with but solar, of course, and Mercury is about vehicles. But anyway, I'm really being flippant with that one. But anyway, people. Um, now, this is also a time where you have, you know, a lot of uh, sparse to energy and vitality to assimilate and process information um, at this time. If you're, you know, doing, say, if your uh, natal mercury is in Virgo, it could be matters connected with health, and something that requires a lot of analysis and, and details could be extrapolating um, data. If you have your natal mercury in Virgo in the fifth house, as an example, it could be extrapolating sports data. Um, you know, mercury in Virgo in the 10th house could be business data and you know, projecting you know, where a company might be you know, five years from now, as an example. Um, it can also be, you know, at this time as well, I mean, keep in mind, I mean, this is uh, Mercury is connected uh, with siblings and cousins and neighbors. And this is the time where you likely can focus that attention, put a lot of focus and attention on these people without um, you know, with little uh, diversions or distractions uh, at this point in time of this transit. And it can be um, a time where, I mean, if you're doing, you know, say if the you know, Mercury is in the fourth house, or say if it's in uh, Scorpio in the fourth house, it could be, maybe there's some matters with you know, home renovation or remodeling um, you know, that maybe you and your siblings are, are doing, you know, at this point in time, and it might be where you have, you know, the drive and the energy and focus to do so at this time and uh, without again with little uh, interruption or, or disruption so anyway and it may be a time too where um i mean you might even express creativity with those people as well the like siblings cousins and neighbors and uh, it can be also a time um, as well where you know you have you know again the energy and the vitality in, as far as uh, doing activities with those people uh, at the time of this transit. Now, another thing is, is that uh, anatomically speaking, a Mercury is connected uh, with the hands, the arms, the lungs, nerves, and breathing. And this could be, you know, time. I mean, the sun, you know, good positive aspects, you know, our sex, sex doesn't try to our positive aspects. But the thing is, though, if you do have any issues, with what I just described, that's anatomically connected with Mercury. This is a time where you could focus your attention on them. And again, with little distractions or disruptions or interruptions at this time, and actually have you know, the energy to do something about them. If you've been procrastinating or hesitating for whatever reason to go to the doctor, this could be the time to actually do something um, about this. And if there's some, you know, say issues with the arms or the hands, and you're, you want to do something as far as like rehab with it, and you're trying to get the, trying to get, you know, the situation, uh, you know, trying to do some, you know, rehabilitation with the arms or the hands. This could be a time where you could do it and, and do it very easily without having you know, to worry about some, you know, distra distraction. Um, and especially if this is a, at a time where you're, you know, you're off work for whatever reason. And, uh, you know, if you have, you know, if there's anything as far as a severe injury to the arms or the hands, there's a good chance you know, the person's not going to be they're going to be out of commission anyway as far as work goes but anyway now this is also a time to um and uh the thing is if you have um i mean mercury is connected you know with local transportation and short journeys so this could be a time um where when you, when you have you know this um you know this transit the sun is connected 
with the biological father and children. So if you have to take you know, the biological father, or if you have any children, if applicable, if you have to take them to a store, or drive them any place, this is a time where it could be auspicious for doing that. And if you could you know, better chance to readily incorporate that in your day to day, your schedule, more so than um, other times. Now, and this is also, uh, and also having the energy to drive the motivation to do too, as far as taking short journeys um, at this time as well. And the thing about, and if to say the natal Mercury is in Pisces, as an example, it could be very convoluted and you know, short journeys with a lot of winding roads as an example of natal mercuries and Gemini's another example it could be just many it could be more about manifold short journeys variety of short journeys at this uh, point in time now mercury is also connected with analysis and the thing about it is um, this could be a time for putting you know your focus and your attention on analyzing things and um, so if this is say if the natal mercury is uh, Aquarius, it could be doing something you know, with computers or astrology or something connected with astronomy. Um, at this time, maybe there's an um, you know, electronic device that needs fixing, and you're trying to analyze and you know, diagnose what's wrong with it. Um, it's also a time where you have, I mean, mercury is associated with rational thinking. And it can be a time where um, you know, you're able to put your attention on doing things and in doing so in a rational uh, manner at this time. And it's also, I mean, the sun is connected with life. So if you're you know, thinking about what needs to be done with your life, it's, be, it's a good opportunity to think about this rationally and what direction you're headed in. And maybe even it could even be formulating plans as far as your life goes. If you feel like you don't, your direction for whatever reason is not where you want it, and you, or wherever you are in your life is is not is not good right now for you. This is the time where you may be uh, more apt to formulate plans to go, uh, you know, in a different direction. And this is also, I mean, Mercury is about mobility. So if you're you know, taking short journeys, you're moving around, you know, maybe taking a walk to the park, as an example, it could be a time where it's more auspicious for that at this time to do those things that are associated uh, with mobility, having the focus to actually do so. And this could be having, being more motivated at this time, more so than usual to actually do that. now. Mercury is also connected uh, with manual dexterity. So this could be a time where you have, it, it's a better opportunity to have the physical ability to be doing things that require dexterity at this time, having the energy and vitality to do so um, at this time, you know, more so um, you know, than usual. And this is um, you know, something you know, if you have this is a very good, obviously a very good, you could say auspicious time for that. If natal Mercury is in Gemini, it could be doing you know, some work on like a car or some other vehicle um, at this time, which would, yeah, I mean, and it's a very, you know, more of a positive time to do that, to have little uh, diversions or distractions in doing so. Now, anyway, now another way this transit may manifest, it could be a time of positive communication which is Mercury with the biological father and children, which is the sun. Now, let's say, for example, if um, natal Mercury is in Pisces, it could be communicating about the metaphysical, which includes astrology. It could be talking about dreams, um, things, uh, doing things for the less fortunate, such as the impoverished, the homeless, the oppressed, uh, the hungry at this point in time. And, um, this could also be a time too where you can have the right amount of energy, which is the sun, for activities with siblings, cousins, and neighbors, which of course is Mercury. Now, for example, if the natal Mercury is in Sagittarius, maybe these activities are connected to sports, outdoors, uh, religion. It could be matters connected with advertising and publishing. Hold on a moment, people.
Sorry about that, I'm back, but anyway. Now this could also be, um, well, again, reiterating what I said previously, it can be very auspicious for taking, um, could be taking action, which is the sun, and things that require manual dexterity, which is uh, Mercury. Now, let's say um, if uh, natal Mercury is in Aquarius, it could be fixing, uh, you know, doing things uh, with the hands, uh, that are connected with electronics uh, devices or computer uh, or the computer if you have one um, it can be uh, also at this time you might easily focus which is the Sun on assimilating and processing information which is mercury now let's say for example if the natal mercury is in Capricorn it could be uh, mathematics the things that the uh, information you're assimilating could be pertaining to mathematics accounting business, uh, politics, um, information technology as some examples. Now it could also be a time where it could be very positive uh, for creative, which is the sun, and uh, writing, uh, which is mercury. If the natal mercury is in Pisces, as, as an example, it could be writing fantasy or fiction novels. It could be writing about uh, the sea or um, you know, something with the metaphysical, which includes astrology. Anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, Edwin Arnard saying stay well.